not so much a cookbook as it is memoirs of a kid from Brooklyn whose working single mother never learned to cook. It was either learn to cook or live with eating TV dinners and macaroni with ketchup his whole life. Macaroni with ketchup was the one dish my mom did know how to cook, although these days she has really perfected the recipe and actually moved on to pasta sauce from a jar. So my recipes are simple ones, quick ways to cook something a little tastier than the usual quick meals you can get from a box, bag, or can. And so I wrote that. Amazing. And then left it for about a year. And uh, I don't remember why, but a year later, somewhere between Linda and Mitzi just haranguing me, I sat down one day and I started to write a little more. And I got, I somehow talked about creating the first couple of dishes, learning how to make a pos uh, a omelet with leftover pasta, uh -huh. and things like the bagel pizza, which was basically the Jewish boy's revenge for wanting to be <laughs> Italian and, and loving uh -huh. Italian food. And then um, I somehow got to Valley College, where I met Jim. Yeah, my and husband. Jim would remember this very well. At some, we all got into this club that was like the... Uh, society it was called delta psi omega and then it was called valley collegiate players and it was like the club of the theater department and jim and i and a few of our friends had all joined at the same time one function i made my chili ah. and the, everyone loved my chili but the teachers really loved my chili one in particular and he even added something to it at that point i didn't put ground fennel in it which i do now mm. and that he was a guy named patrick riley he was uh the late patrick riley was one of the professors and he suggested the fennel so then it became even better so then it would have to be made for every cast party every function or whatever and i think the joke around the department was if you saw my name on a cast list you know if we had all auditioned for a show it was like, oh larry your chili got cast in you know patrick's show or something like that so i wrote that in the book and a few, you know a few pages in and i was sent it to linda and i said okay here's some more pages and she read it and she goes that's the format of your book and i said what and she goes where your acting career and your recipes coincide and you can tell stories about you know, what has to do with what, why you made this recipe, for what reason, you know, why did you choose this? Love so it's, it. so one of the things about my recipes is, in so many cookbooks, they just give you the recipes, but I explain like, why did I use this seasoning? Why, why am I using brown rice instead of white rice and stuff like that? And, and, and some of the recipes actually do directly coincide with acting projects and stuff. Some. Sometimes I'll just go like, hey, there hasn't been a recipe for a while, and the story is getting way too dramatic, so, <laughs> you know, whatever. It's but the story it's of your life with, with, with the food. With food. And so there's 52 of my own recipes in Love there. It. Nine are soup, if you count chili as soup. Most okay. people go, no. No. <laughs> so eight are soup. <laughs> okay. So, uh, um, wonderful. And so yeah. we're running out of time, but I want to know... Of all the recipes in there, what's the one that we must try? Is it the chili it's recipe? It's got to be the chili, I okay. think. Because I, I, or if it has to be one of the soups, okay. I would, I would probably say the mulligatawny because it's so famous from the episode of Seinfeld. It like uh -huh. introduced, that episode introduced mulligatawny to the consciousness of American <laughs> minds, yeah. you know, because it's an Indian soup. Um, but I think my recipe's really good. It took... I, uh, again, at Linda and Paul's house, we took an entire weekend and I made like three or four different versions of it and we whittled it down and whittled it down and invited, had a party, a tasting party and, you know, people picked out and everyone was unanimous on their favorite version of it. So that's what's in the book. Wonderful. So and that. so where can people get the book? Right now, you can, if, if uh, you can just go to my website, realsoupnazi.com. Okay. R-E-A-L-S-O-U-P-N-A-Z-I. And if you want it signed, then you get it from me. Okay. If you just want the book unsigned and you click on that, it'll take you to the publisher's website where you could just order it from them. Okay. But it's also at barnesandnoble.com and amazon.com. Okay. In different versions. You know, you can get it for, for 
Nook and Kindle, Kindle and, and all those things. And there are a lot of great pictures in there, including yeah, a couple of pictures of my husband. Right, and, and uh, our acting projects that we uh, did together. Which is so fun. Yeah. Uh, I, I have to say, you need to get this book. I can't wait. I, I wasn't able to get one today, and so I'm thrilled uh, that you brought this one. This is so that yours. I can, well, I, you know, I, I'm buying this book, and I, I want it signed. Um, but again, tell them your website. Realsoup.c.com. <laughs>